Welcome back to another episode of Under God. I'm your host, the most excellent, most handsome, Snacky Chan. Today, we have very, very special guests. I am so excited because these guys are artists that you normally can't see in Korea. They're actually born and raised in the UK. They're not even Korean, but they're popular to Koreans, which is strange and unique, but dope. Um, they go by the name of Nathania and Harms. They're only freaking 18, I think. 18 or 19 years old. They just graduated high school and they already got a fan base, which is crazy. So I'm very excited for them to be here in Korea. They're only here for a week. Um, I'm putting on a show called Under God Live and they're gonna perform for the first time. We're gonna visit a Hapju Shil, which is a practice room. And we're gonna shoot some of them practicing and then hopefully get to know them a little bit more ask them some questions, etc. You all ready? Let's go. We're here, um, I told them, let's meet at Hop Junk Station Line 2, exit 2, so I have never met them before, so I'm excited. I hope they don't think I'm ugly. You all ready? Oh! Oh shit, in the flesh! Yo! Oh my god. What's up, sir? Are you good? I'm good, I'm good. That's good. Hi! Arms and Nathaniel. 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 Yes. Arms. <laughs> you guys are pretty in person. Oh, ah! Uh, thank uh, you. I was just like, Yeah. Oh, I'm, I'm, <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. I'm trying to see like if you guys are different. We do look different. We do look different. You have like front couple with like the like, double eyelids? Yeah, I do, yeah. And she doesn't have it? No. Yeah, I think. You have double eyelids? Yeah, they're natural. <laughs> they're natural? They're natural? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, we do look quite different. The more you look at us, you'll see the differences, yeah. Alright, uh, we're going to go to the practice room now. Yeah. 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 Yeah, with yeah. all the protests, yeah, it's not safe to go out. No, because no, I saw your story and it said, like, I saw, like, some gangsters beating some yeah, protesters. And yeah, and it's happening everywhere, so getting the train is very dangerous because people tend to start beating people in the train stations. I don't know why, but, so, yeah, it, it happened during the weekend, so they used to plan it during the weekends. Oh, yeah, we do a protest in the weekend, but now it's every, every day. day. It's just really bad. I'm curious, does like American accent like sound stupid to you guys? No. No, it's quite um, kind of because on TV in in the UK, American TV is put on quite a lot, like American mm. dramas. People think we're either Korean or like we're from America. And then when we start speaking on like our live streams, they're like, oh wow, you you've got the British accent. I'm like, yeah, yeah. I'm British. <laughs> people All don't the time. yeah, people don't expect us to be British. Awesome. I, don't, I don't know why, but. <laughs> oh, I think there's always, I think there's always that stereotype, like oh, very posh and. But there's really. like a ghetto UK slang. Yeah, so there is. They, they call it the chubby accent. Um, it depends where you grow up, yeah. like where you were born and where you grew up, like when you used to live. <laughs> we lived in a place that was quite, um, as we Rough. called chubby, quite ghetto. Yeah. Oh, really? So we did have a really strong accent. Uh -huh. But um, then when we was about 11, when we went to um, secondary school, so high school, yeah. and we went to like a really posh place. Posh place. Yeah, yeah, so our accent changed from then. Oh. Yeah. I mean, our accents can change easily uh -huh. because English isn't actually, well, isn't our first language. Oh, really? Yeah, so we grew up speaking a dialect. 
called Hakka. It's a Chinese dialect. And is that the Hong Kong dialect? Yes, it is. And um, and then we start learning English in school, but because we're not like ni- oh, it's, we're native speakers of English because we are like born, born we were born, born and raised there. But like with our family, we did speak like the dialect. Yeah. But um, yeah, so with that, we know Cantonese, yeah. which uh, Chinese, but we actually learnt that by ourselves through like watching like TV programs and stuff. So it's not great, but we do understand. <laughs> <laughs> we do understand Cantonese. Yeah. Mandarin, not so much. You guys could be like idols, you, you don't want to do that. Like, um, do I do really enjoy performing, like dancing like and before. singing. But like, I don't know, it's crossed my mind. But I don't I think, think it's something we want to yeah. get into. I think like, it's just not for Arms, me. you were going to just do fashion, right? But now you're a little... Um, so we're both doing fashion. Um, we're going to university. Same one? Uh, yeah, same yeah. one. Um, I'm doing fashion branding, so that's more styling and making magazines. Mm-hmm. Nathaniel's doing fashion design, so making and designing. No, making and designing. Is it in London, the university? No, it's, it's in, in Birmingham. 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 Uh, Birmingham's like, it's in between Manchester and London, so it's like near the middle. Mm-hmm. It's like city? Yeah, it's quite a big city. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's one of the biggest cities. I think it's like the second biggest oh, okay. city, or the that's cool. third. Yeah, in the UK. Great. Um, All right. So this is uh, the practice room. It's not like um, luxurious, but it's, oh, that's it's okay. fine. At least we get to practice. <laughs> <laughs> like we've just been asked, like, oh, have you been practicing? Like, have you they been practicing? seem like they're not nervous at all for some reason. I'm more nervous. I, I'm nervous. <laughs> really? I'm yeah. nervous, I'm like, yeah. Where's the MR? Where's the MR? And they're like, oh, it's just at home. <laughs> <laughs> no, with preparing stuff like... Um, guys, be careful. Okay. The yeah. stairs are like... Yeah, that's fine. Get them. It's okay, we've not drunk. <laughs> okay. This is our room at 5 o'clock. Yeah. This feeling inside me is crazy. Do you see it? The way I act around you, baby. You are standing here beside me. Welcome back, everybody. As I said before, I'm back with the amazing Hong Kong Chinese, born and raised in the UK, very talented, awesome, um, living very far away, yet very popular in Korea, artist Nathaniel. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. How did you get started? I know it's real. <laughs> There's actually quite, yeah, it's quite a logic story to that. Um, bef- well, before we started making music, we were dancers. So we already like, really liked music. Mm-hmm. And then, we, it's because of this show, um, School Rappers, Golden Rapper. Oh, really? Yeah. 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 Wow. Um, first season. Yeah, it was the first, like, first ever season. Obviously, we know about Show Me The Money, but we're like, this is people our age. Yeah. So I was like, let's see what's different. And after watching the first season, we were shocked because these people our age were doing what they want. Mm-hmm. 
and yeah, it's quite inspiring. It was really, it really inspired us, and we were like, why can't we do the same? Gross. <laughs> you guys weren't doing music before that. No. And then we were just like, oh yeah, we're gonna try it out because people were like, oh, how do people get their music out? And then people were like, oh, use SoundCloud. Mm -hmm. And in the UK, SoundCloud isn't really that popular. Mm -hmm. So we're like, oh, what's mm -hmm. this? And we found like many tracks on there. We we're like, oh wow. Mm -hmm. so we thought, how old were when, when, when you? Two thousand seventeen. So then we really only started releasing music about October 2017. Oh. So yeah. not that long. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, didn't you already always know like you had a nice voice? We've you? always been singing yeah. because my parents love singing. Oh, they do. And so from a very very young age, like, mom, I think mom said there's a video of us when we was like one. Whoa. Um, there's like one. Yeah. In the video, I think it's recording. That like, mom will be singing and we'll be trying to like sing with her. And there's like videos of us like dancing on like our living room table and like singing. And so yeah, singing and dancing has always been like something we really enjoy doing. Are your parents like good singers? I like to think they are. Yeah. My mum my mum my mum used to want to be that she wants to be a singer. Uh -huh. But because um, in Hong Kong, but like in Hong Kong now, like looks is a very yeah. important thing and she's not pretty. My mum's very busy. <laughs> okay. um, but like she's, it's um, all it's all like the aspect of self yeah, I think self confidence, and so she didn't go through with. But yeah, I'll say my parents mainly influenced us in seeing yeah. like mum definitely. Oh. I remember like back in I don't know what the school like grading system is here, but when I was in year seven, which is about eleven to twelve years old, mm. and whenever we had like Pete like physical education classes and that we're all all girls in that like, the same changing room. Yeah. We'd all just sing together <laughs> as loud as as loud as we could. And I guess when we did that, some of the people just kinda noticed like, oh wait, you guys actually sing quite well. So it's that school mates and family as well. Are there any Korean like female singers that you guys might stick out in your mind as Good. Someone who's really caught my attention, not a singer, but a rapper, Jessie. Oh, yeah. Because yeah, yeah. she yeah. was just different yeah. in the, um, like, the industry, and I was like, wow, this is, yeah. like, she's amazing. Girls love her. Yeah, I think, I, I, I don't know. Love her too. <laughs> I <laughs> guess just because like, she's from America. Yeah. So, it was just kind of attitude yeah. is kind of similar yeah. to ours. So, we really? just kind of like, yeah, we can I think <laughs> as, as. You guys are like Jessie. Not as. Not really, but it's <coughs> as Chinese girls growing up in a country that's mostly, mostly yeah. white, we've obviously experienced that yeah. like racism. Yeah. And so we we might seem a bit yeah, like nice. not but like if someone we've got used to if someone was to say something, we'll just say it back. Yeah. Like, we'll fight back. <laughs> so we we'll don't fight us. back. It's just I think, yeah, I think if you don't say anything, they're just gonna carry on. They're just gonna carry on, and even if I do say something, nothing happens. At least I know. I it must be brutal out there. Still, when we were younger. When we were younger, but not so much. Just back. Yeah, I think it's just like if when you see, it's just like, oh, they look so innocent. Like you can say anything, <laughs> yeah. but it's it happens now. Like it still happens now, but not as. No, not as much because you would think oh, older people would be more understanding and more mature, but it does happen. Yeah. And when it does happen, we won't be afraid to start to, to say something. Stand up for ourselves. Yeah. yeah. A lot of people ask us how um, we know Korean, like yeah. <laughs> because obviously we're from the UK and we're not Korean. Um, it's because, again like we used to really really like K-pop, yeah. and it started when um, we was at a friend's like family friend's um, house and. She started dancing this like girl group dance, and I'm like, wow, that's so cool. She's like, oh, I'll teach you, and it started from there. This was back in 2012, mm -hmm. so it was, it was in 2010, 2010, 11. So we're about nine, ten years old, and Ooh. so we were like, oh, that's so cool. And then we started learning like loads of different dances, getting into K-pop, mm -hmm. and we just kind of picked up Korean phrases here and there until obviously we started making our own music and. Obviously, our main, our main audience is from South Korea, yeah. so we just thought it would be like a coincidence. It's yeah. a co uh, I don't know how, we just put our music out there because why not, let's see who will listen and straight away our audience has always been based in South Korea. Like, 
Yeah, I know. I was, I was like, like, did you put on top of like a known Korean beat or did no, you go we just found like YouTube beats and just find one, wrote something on it, record it, put it in SoundCloud. So I mean, it, we did say before like because of Golden Rapper, yeah, we knew like some artists here and there, mm -hmm. and we listened to a lot of SoundCloud artists as well. So we were like fans of theirs, and I guess. I think Instagram helped a lot because when they did like live broadcasts and stuff, we'll just go and be like, hey, oh. I, I wrote a song, like, could you Whoa. check it out if you could? Mm -hmm. And many of the artists were very nice and they were like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, yeah, that did help. And then they checked it out and kind of just shared it. So I guess it just yeah. got. Mm -hmm. What level of cream you guys are at? Like? Uh, oh. um, we can, can read you, it. You can we can read, read it. it. You can read um, everything. Yeah. yeah. Holy crap. Because Korean is an alphabet. Like, it's easy, right? Yeah, so it's easy, easy compared to Chinese, yeah. Oh, I heard so um, it's just more memorizing it and but the grammar is so hard. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Like that's something I we can't I, I can't get my head around, but it's like certain phrases that uh, people use and we just kinda of pick up. Mm -hmm. And we get like friends like to tell us like what's what <laughs> you know, like yeah. slang, like, yeah. <laughs> which people use. Mm -hmm. So we can make basic conversation with someone. Wow. over uh, like text speaking oh. also. yeah so like my typing reading and listening yeah. is be a lot better than my speaking yeah. so oh, we do right. understand a little bit yeah so if someone's just speaking to me it's <laughs> hard for me to like register what they're saying i want to like make you guys speak no, no. i can't i'm not confident enough it was more confident than this. <laughs> like my friends are like oh, speak korean speak korean like, how about how about how about just like an introduction I only know like. You don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I'm really bad with stuff like that. Like, she's low now. I'm just like, oh, hi. <laughs> Dang, your skin is clean as hell. <laughs> it got. What do you do? I just. Just like that. I do take care of my skin quite a bit. Quite a bit. Huh? But like, my skin's gotten better in Asia. Probably because of like the humid weather. Because uh, my I've got oh, my skin is like really weird. It's oily dang, and it's dry. Uh -huh. So like coming to like Asia where it's humid helps. It's like helps my skin. But I've been eating so unhealthily, so I'm surprised. It's kept up. You tan a bit or is that me? Um, I'm actually I've actually tanned a bit. Oh, did you? Do you want to tan? Yeah. I do all the time. Oh. Back then, um, because we're like K-pop idols, like they look like their fair skin. Yeah, yeah. And back then we wanted to be pale, we were just like, oh, I want to be pale. And <laughs> we were pretty tan back then. Uh -huh. And But as soon as we got older, we just got really pale. I'm like, I want to get tan. Right. So yeah. I, I guess like using fake, I don't know if Korean people use fake tan, but like in the like, Western countries, we just use fake tan. Yeah, yeah. So I was like, oh, I really want to tan. Yeah. But I've tanned a bit since I've been here. Mm. Want to um, tan more? We want yeah, to tan I want to tan more, more but the sun's not really out. <laughs> How did you choose to be on vacation here? Like, well, you just wanted to visit always, right? Um, we've always wanted to visit Korea for years, right. but we never like found the right time because we're, we're full-time students, so we always had exams. Yeah. You guys take studying pretty seriously, because when I would try to get in touch with guys, you guys were like, mm -hmm. like cut off SNS yeah. and like, mm -hmm. it's, wow, you girls are serious. It's because well. I hate studying, <laughs> oh. but um, these exams, which um, they're called A levels uh, in the UK, so they're the exams which you take before you go to university. So before, like, I'm not saying I did try my best, but I was a bit more lazy with studying, and I knew, well, we're, we're both not stupid, so oh, if, so, but we didn't want to just rely on like, oh, we're, we're fine, we don't need to study and. My parents really wanted to go to university because they didn't have the chance to go. So it was either, and social media can be so distracting. It can yeah. be so distracting. So deleting it was a good thing for me. Well, mainly it's for our parents because we don't, as much as like doing music was something that they didn't expect us to do. Um, so they weren't really supportive of it. Like they would like, let us do it, like dance and sing as like a hobby. Yeah. But as it just got. Uh, but when we start like putting music out, especially when um, I got the chance to release an official single. Right. My parents surprisingly, my parents were like, oh wow. And my, oh, really? my dad's quite traditional, so he's more like, oh, studio. But he didn't mind us doing our own thing. But um, he never, we never really spoke about our music and stuff with him. 
but I remember mum telling me, oh yeah, Dad, I was trying to like, give me his phone, asking like, how to download your song. And <laughs> from that, that really, that really touched me. Yeah, I was just like, oh wow, maybe I could really do this as a career, but who knows. Are you guys surprised that you are making money off of music? Yeah. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. When I was like back in the UK, I tried to focus on studying as much as I could, so I didn't even get a job. Mm -hmm. So when I, because I was so focused on studying, when I started writing my own music, I was like, oh, this is what I needed to like basically free myself from all the studying. Mm -hmm. So I just released a lot of music on SoundCloud just for the fun of it. So like, yeah, when someone asked me for a feature, I was like, yeah, sure. And they're like, how much? And I'm like, wait, what? <laughs> how old were you guys again? Oh, we turned 18 six months ago. Like seven months. months ago. What year is that? Uh, 2000. 2000. 2000. Yeah. So Korean age, how old is that? Uh, 20. Uh, from 20. what I think, yeah. Korean age 20. They're 20 Korean age. They already have fans in Korea like this. They're making good money off of music, which is pretty crazy. So, um, you guys are young, so a lot of young people haven't really experienced the hardship of you know, grinding in music. Mm -hmm. But when I talk to you guys, you guys always say like, thank you, and you always appreciate every small thing, which I always thought was like, it showed what kind of girls you were. Your father used to do a lot of things, so... Yeah, it's all um, to our parents. Yeah. <laughs> it's just, if someone's, especially if you've given us a lot um, in the past year, and like, we're very, very thankful for that. Yeah. And I just think, if someone's willing to help you, and, they, and you can see that they're helping you... you well, just... I'm, I'm getting help too, actually, so... <laughs> like, working with you guys makes me look good too, so... Yeah. I don't really feel like... I feel like mm. it's a win-win. Yeah. Okay, that's... It's <laughs> <laughs> good to hear. We gotta end it. I know there's gonna be something. I regret not asking <laughs> these girls, but you guys can contact them directly at their Instagram. Um, Harms, your Instagram ID is kind of like confusing. Yeah, I changed it. So for the A, um, I put a V because okay. I thought it looks a bit different. Okay. And it's a double R. Double R. It's an artistic style of <laughs> Instagram, right? <laughs> Nathania is. It's just Nathania Hoy, which is our same. But Hoy's got two eyes. Hoy's got two eyes. Wait, does it always have two eyes? No, it's just oh. the way I started. Uh, swag. Mm -hmm. okay. Um. Yeah. So we're gonna have them perform for the first time, maybe the only time in Korea. I mean, hopefully not. But they can't come here all the time. So you know, it's gonna be really special this Saturday at uh, Hongdae Dream Hall. Uh, this is probably going to come out after the concert, but anyways, I'm going to promote it anyway. Um, yeah, so thank you everybody for watching. Nathaniel Harms, Snacky Chin, I'm the guy. Peace. Let me get on with my life. I don't need you here by my side.